decided to base the theme of his wedding to Emma on their kids' favourite animated film. Hopefully this will be the one. And where better to find a magical frozen-covered landscape oh, the than the Hemel Hempstead Snow Centre? <laughs> Steve planned to have his wedding at the bottom of this indoor ski slope. It might not be the icy kingdom from the film, but that wasn't stopping Steve. I sort of want, like, ice sculptures. Temperatures are, are going to be in your favour. Keep them, yeah, definitely. My feet are freezing. She's perfect for me, this. This is what I want. Do you think we'll be able to build a snowman with this? Um, Let's try. <laughs> with Santa's little helpers in tow, our four grooms set out to deck their halls with a spot of Christmas shopping. Steve and Best Man were having a jolly old time. Some of them. Some of them. Looking for Christmas decorations. What about them? Do you want it to look good? <laughs> if only the bridesmaid shared his Christmas cheer. Let's see if we see on the bum. I'm happy, very happy. Are you too happy? The girls were given the first clue of what was to come on their Hindus. Steve, who had planned a wedding on a ski slope, sent his bride Emma oh, the oh, my God. God. Oh, my God. to a ski slope. Is anybody else nervous or is it just me? I'm gonna kill him. And despite the odd fall, <laughs> Steve had somehow managed to not slip up with his idea. A bit happier now. Steve was determined to take his icy theme wedding to Emma by the reins with his latest idea. It's great, isn't it? Yeah, it's very traditional, isn't it? It looks really, really nice. Yeah, what do you think about the idea of reindeers and sleigh? I think kids will like it. Our Emma, I don't think she'd expect it. Yeah, imagine when they're doing that on the snow. <laughs> but with no money left in his budget, Steve had no choice but to go begging to the in-laws. Hey, Steve. Yeah. How's it going? Horrible. Really? It's all coming together, but just the stress. Why have you actually come here to see me this morning? I've got no money left. I've run out of money. I want Emma's dad to contribute £300. Pounds. When do you need this money by? Uh, as soon as possible, really. Are you wanting me to see Emma's dad and ask him if whether he, he can give you this money? If you can, yeah. Because Emma's father is deaf, Steve needed mum-in-law Christine to communicate on his behalf. Hello. The budget for the wedding, £12,000, it's gone. So he said, could I ask you if you can give him £300? £12,000 all gone now. Spent, gone. They asked me to ask you, can you give him £300, please? Yes. I just feel crap. It's embarrassing, really. He's, he's not going to say no and upset me, is he? So I just feel really bad. Especially when he knows my dad ain't got no money. After admitting to not being a fan of her kid's favourite film, Emma was in for a surprise when she went to see her dress. We'll see now. I feel really sick. Tell me when you're ready. I'm ready. You ready? I'm ready. That's right, Steve had decided to give this ice queen a blue wedding dress for her wedding day. What's going through his head? Why, why on earth a blue dress? I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Why on earth? I'm shaking. Why he's picked me a blue dress? What do you think everybody's going to think, though, when they turn around and they're seeing a blue wedding dress? Or oh, the family, they're, they're just, the jaws are just going to drop, aren't they? Oh, my poor daughter. But against all the odds, while the dress was blue, oh, wow. the bride wasn't. Oh, God! It actually does look really beautiful. It's beautiful, honestly, love. The colour really suits you. We have got something else to go with the gown that he has decided on. What's he decided? This is getting more and more princessy. It is, isn't it? <laughs> oh! 
what on earth is going on? That really makes it. Emma, that, oh gosh. It suits you. I'm really shocked. Ice Queen Emma was about to discover that Steve had almost got her what she wanted for Christmas. I would have loved a horse and carriage, but in this weather, I think that's a bad idea. Oh my God! What the hell is that? <laughs> right, so what's going on then? Bloody reindeers and everything? <laughs> And is it far? It's not far, no. It's just a short stay ride. Really? Uh -huh. It's not quite a horse and carriage at all, no. I'm so cold. I don't even know where I am. And I'm on a play in this weather, in a dress, and people are just looking, thinking, oh my God. <laughs> it's ridiculous. All we need now is for the reindeer to start to poo. It might have been ridiculous, but at least Emma had some form of transport. Temperatures were not much higher at Steve's wedding to Emma at an indoor ski slope. Thank you so much, everybody. Oh, thank you. What were you thinking? <laughs> I love you too. <laughs> This ring symbolises my commitment to you, my soulmate, Emma. I give you this ring. I'm a token of my love you. This ring symbolises my commitment to you, my soulmate, Stephen. Emma, you may now kiss or punch the girl. <laughs> <laughs> punch, Emma, punch. Oh, I to punch you. <laughs> That's fair enough. Steve's ice cool reception had also gone down a tree. Mum, it looks beautiful. Oh, look at the cake. Oh, my word. It's got lice. It has eyes. Never. With a rose inside. <gasps> Oh my god, as if he thought about all this. I mean, this is beautiful. I am so shocked. I never would have thought you would have pulled this up. Unbelievable. <laughs> You've done amazing. You are.